How to get the insights tab on your Facebook shop if you don't have it there already. How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle. If you're new here, we go over everything related to Facebook Marketplace and Facebook shop drop shipping. So definitely subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss out on a single upload. In this video, I wanted to talk about the insights tab. This seems to be kind of a reoccurring problem with us and the people in the subscription website as well who just can't get the insights tab on their shop and obviously that's a crucial part and i'll get into it a little bit later on why it's so important to have that insights tab and i'm sure most of you guys know so if you guys don't currently have the insights tab on one of your guys shops that maybe you just got the marketplace enabled and you really want to see it on there then you're definitely going to want to stay to the end of this video but before i actually do get into that if you're someone who is still struggling to get sales on facebook shops or even marketplace or whatever it is we've been seeing great results on our subscription website and people have been messaging us and we love to see the messages when people are telling us they either they've just gotten their first sale or now they're getting 30 40 50 sales a day because of things that we've showed them now i will say all credit goes to them for staying consistent and continuing to list and and following the methods that we laid out but we just love to hear that people are are taking what we're teaching them and really making good use of it and being able to profit a lot from it so i will say if you do want to get signed up in the subscription website the link is in the description below and there really is a ton of different features you get from being inside of there well let's get into the actual topic of this video which is this insights tab now i just want to briefly touch on why it's so important and it really is the whole point of being in a shop you can't scale up a shop without this insights tab that's why it's so important and when I saw that shops we were making weren't getting it. I was like, this, this is a huge problem because I, I don't even want to post in the shop if we don't have this insights because I can't tell if the shop's doing good or bad. I mean, yeah, you can look at orders for sure, but when you're first getting going and you're not getting a ton of orders in, then how are you going to be able to tell what's getting the views, what's getting the add to carts, what's getting initiated checkouts, right? You want to be able to see all those things and you can only do that through insights. That's kind of the whole strategy behind scaling up a shop. Sure, anyone can just go throw up a bunch of listings and, and just continue to throw up and see whatever sticks, but... It's about after doing that, let's say, I always love this example, the rugs, let's say rugs did well, you wanna be able to say, okay, these rugs are getting a lot of views and a lot of sales. Let me continue to list these. Maybe I'll list 10 rugs a day. And when you see that start to do better and better and your views are going to go up, your sales are going to go up because you know what to post and what's already performing well in your shop. And if you don't know that, you don't know what to post on similar products. So you really do need this insights tab and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get it. Now, it really is pretty simple, I will say. It's not a very complicated process. So if you're in the back end of the shop inside the commerce manager, Scroll down on the left hand side and you're going to just want to click on education. Once you click on that, you scroll to the bottom of that screen. You're going to see contact support. Click on there as well. Then you're going to click on the top uh, little checkbox and it's going to say account setup. And then on the second one, you just want to click on other. And then that's going to create a second kind of drop down underneath that. And you just want to make sure you can put in the, the tab and just say no insights tab in, in that description box of what your problem is. And then underneath that, it's going to say chat and then email. And you want to make sure it's on chat and then you can click send or whatever it says in the blue right there. And then you navigate over to your Facebook and that's where it'll be on a live chat with you in the messenger where you can talk to a Facebook representative one on one. And basically it's just going to start off. They're going to go through. They're going to ask you for the, the I think the commerce manager ID Just say yes. This is it. And then they're going to also say I need a contact information like a phone number and then an email. Just put in whichever one you want. And then basically what they're going to do is it takes a little while of them kind of going through their normal thing. But basically either they're going to ask you what's wrong or they already saw your message about the insights tab. And they're going to say, is it correct that you, you don't have the insights tab right now? And then if that is what they say, then just say yes. And that's, that is the problem. Then they're going to always ask you for a screenshot. I don't know why. Just take a screenshot of the, of the actual commerce manager itself so they can see that there's no insights tab in there. And then once they get that screenshot, most of the time they're going to just say, okay, I'm going to forward this to our specialized team. That's what you want because it's pretty quickly. Once they forward that it takes maybe a couple hours to a day and then the insights tab shows up in there. However, what I will say is sometimes some of the Facebook representatives are not the best. And then when they start saying, no, you actually, you can't have insights yet. You're not 30 days or whatever it is. Don't listen to that one, to be honest with you, to save you on time, just say, okay. And then just leave that chat and start up a new one and get someone new. And that will actually forward it to the specialized team. Cause I mean, I've done it so many times now where I've forwarded it to the specialized team. It worked. And then I was talking to someone on the support a couple of days ago and they were like, no, you can't get it yet. And I was like, I went back and forth with them for a little bit, which I just don't recommend doing anymore. And I was just like, I know that you can get it. I've done it several times now. And then I was like, I'm just wasting time. I'll just get out of it, redo it, 
and then get someone who kind of knows what they're doing and can just forward that to the specialized team so that I'm not wasting a ton of time. So that's what I ended up doing and it's worked on every single shot. There hasn't been a shop that I can't get insights on. So I just wanted to let you guys know that maybe don't know about this, this method to contact support or just don't know how to get the insights tab. So like I said, it's extremely important to have this insights tab. So I hope this video is pretty helpful and you guys can get the insights tab on your guys' shops. And if you like this video, definitely leave a like so we can push it out to more people who are probably struggling to get insights on their, their Facebook shop as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.